Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you, how to make this awesome hologram effect. Here I'm using this video for this effect. First double tap on my phone, and now effect will open up here. Then swipe up, again swipe up, and double tap. The video will be played here. And I'm using my Instagram screen recording, and I recorded this screen same as my video movement. Scroll up, again scroll up. Then open a video clip. And that's it. Now let's get started. So first move the screen recording above the video clip. Now I'm looking for the frame, where I double tap on the phone. And move the screen recording here. So when I double tap on my phone, then the screen recording will be pop up. Now move over to the effects tab. And search for basic 3D. Apply this effect on the screen recording. Now go to the Effect Controls tab. Let's down the scale size a little bit. Now you can decrease the opacity around 50 or 60 to make this transparent effect. But if your video is darker, then change the blend mode normal to screen. And it looks more perfect. Then under the basic 3D effect, increase the swivel to flipping the screen. And it should be adjusted with your video clip. And I'm using the tilt negative 5 to make it a little bit curved. Now adjust the position. In my case I put it on top of my phone. And it's perfect for me. So that's it for the Premiere Pro. Now I will use the After Effects for the rest of the effects. But don't worry, I will show you 4 simple steps to make it more perfect. So mark this 2 layers, right click on it, and select Replace with After Effects Composition. And your After Effects application should be the same version as Premiere Pro. Now type a project name and save it. So this is my video clip, and this is the screen recording. So our first step is motion tracking, I'll track the screen recording, with my phone movement. So first select the video layer, and go to window, then open tracker. Under the tracker tab, click on track motion. Now you'll see a square track point. And I'll start tracking from the beginning of the screen recording layer. Now move this tracker point on the specific object of the mobile phone. In my case I'm using my fingernail. Also you can resize the tracker point to adjust it perfectly. Now under the tracker tab, click on the analyze forward button. When analyzing is done, Right click here, and make a new null object. Then click on edit target. And select the null layer. And click OK. Now click on apply. Then select X and Y. And click OK. And move the time indicator first frame of the screen recording. Then select this screen recording layer. Click and hold on the parent pick icon. Now drag it to null layer. And that's it for the motion tracking. As you can see the recording clip is moving with my phone. Now let's move to the next step. As you can see here, my finger is overlapping with screen recording. To solve this problem, I have to remove the background from my finger. Then I'll put it above the recording layer. So select the video layer. And duplicate it, click Ctrl plus D. Now find the frame where you want to remove the background. Then move the start workout area here and set the end workout area, where my recording is ending. Now select the Roto Brush tool, and double click on this duplicated layer. Then move the time indicator to the first frame of the workout area. Then draw a line, which part you want to select, in my case I just want to select my hand. 
Then click Ctrl plus right arrow key to move one frame forward. And where it's not selecting automatically, just draw a line. Again click Ctrl plus right arrow key, and select the area properly. To deselect the area, hold on ALT button, and draw where you want to deselect. And do it continue until your clip is finished. Okay, now click on this little toggle alpha boundary icon. So you can see the selecting part only. Now under the effect controls tab, change the quality standard to best. Increase the mask feather 10%. Decrease the shift edge 50%. Then enable motion blur. And enable the decontaminate edge. Now click on the freeze text. So it will start processing to remove the background and it will take a few moments. And when it's done, going back to the main composition. Then move the start and end workout area to the previous position. Now select the duplicated layer, and move it to the top of the screen recording. And there we go. Now you can see that, my hand is on top of the recorded clip. Our third step, add the start and end animation to the screen recording clip. So move the time indicator beginning of the screen recording. Then select the recording layer. And click S to open scale. Then click Shift plus P to open position. And make keyframes on the scale and position. Now move to the first frame of the recording layer. Then change the scale and position. I would like to open it from my phone. And make the scale size 0. Now mark these keyframes. Right click on it and make them ease in. And it looks perfect. Now let's add the end animation. So move the time indicator end of the recording clip. Make keyframes on the scale and position. Now I move few frames forward, where my hand moved from the recording clip. Again change the scale and position, where you think it's perfect. And that's it for the start and end animation. So our last step, make the hologram effect on the screen recording clip. For this effect, I'm using the production crate free script. You can free download it from the description link. When download is done, going back to the after effects. And click on edit. Preferences. Scripting and expressions. Here enable the allow scripts to write files and access network. Then click OK. Now go to file, scripts, run script file. And select the production crate hologram script. And here you'll get eight different hologram effects. And here I'm using the basic one. To use this effect, just select the recording layer and click on the middle plus icon. Now close this tab. I would like to change the raise position. So under the effect controls tab, click on the projection raise drop down icon. And select the origin plus icon. I like to set the raise from my phone, so I just click on my phone. Also if you don't need this, you can turn off the projection raise. But I think it looks cool, so I just decrease the raise opacity a little bit. Again add motion tracking to the raise. So select the hologram layer and parenting it to the null layer. Just like that. And that's it for this effect. Now our effect is ready for the final preview. So going back to the Premiere Pro. And this effect will be automatically updated here. Let's render it for the better preview. Now you can add some sci-fi, glitch, or whoosh sound effects. So you can check out my ultimate sound effects pack, under the description link. Inside this pack, you will get 100 plus sci-fi sounds, 200 plus whoosh sounds, and 80 glitch sound effects, 
and totally of 2000 plus sound effects. So that's it for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.